Yes, okay. Uh, before we get started, um, one, one um, announcement. So, I need to see um, hands for those uh, who's coming to the hub later tonight. So, we're going to be have a little after party after uh, we finish the lecture tonight at um, 6. So, probably 6.30-ish. Okay? So, I want to see hands who's coming to the hub for after party. It's going to be a, a short, not so long, but you can stop by. Okay, can you count? And you can decide to join later probably because we just need rough number to um, get the position, the lo location. And oh, Ikeda Sensei from SFC is coming too if you want to join, uh, if you want to talk to him. Okay. Okay, all right, thank you. Okay. Six hours to go, or seven hours, or eight hours, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure <laughs> it depends on who. <laughs> well, I almost miss uh, you guys. <laughs> Not just high enough. Okay, so uh, we went through customer profile in today's AM, and next we are gonna go talk with talk with value proposition. Value proposition. Okay, this is another exercise following your gain and pain exercise, right? Based on that exercise you did in AM, you should, you would, will discuss on your business value proposition to your customers, right? First, outline pain relievers. Your products and services will alleviate ease customer's pain, but don't need to alleviate every single pain, okay? It's impossible, it's impossible, right? So uh, focus on extreme pain, important pain to customers, right? And outline gain creators, your products and services will provide to your customers and don't need to address every single gain. It's impossible, right? Focus on the important, the most important gain and not focus on nice to have gain, right? And doing that things are uh, for pro uh, describing value proposition later. This is uh, what you want to do in this uh, uh, exercise. Describe value propositions of your products and services to your customers. What value do you deliver to the customer, right? And uh, there is no strict rules or regulation for describing value proposition. It's, uh, you have a high degree of freedom for describing value proposition. Let's see a couple of examples of value proposition. This is a squares value proposition. Uh, Square is a service. Oh. Square is a square. Hmm? You raise your hand. No, no, no. Okay. Right. <laughs> I thought you, you want to share some experience oh, about this square. Sorry, that will be a bank. 
Yeah, square is like this. Right? The, the device swiping the credit card. This is connect, uh, could be connect to your smartphone or iPad, tablet. So uh, uh, before this kind of services, uh, the shops have to have uh, you know the credit card readers in their uh, shop. But now they can do it by using your smartphone and Square service, right? So their value proposition is start accepting credit card today. So it's clear, right? So customers can understand, oh, I can start accepting credit card today, okay? And this one is Skype's one. Wherever you are, wherever they are, Skype keeps you together. That sounds more tagline or copying or something like that, but it could be very proposition. If you can deliver your message, you can uh, deliver your message to your customers, that could be very proposition. And this is Evernote's one. Remember everything, capture anything, access anywhere, find things fast, right? This is values what we are actually enjoying through using the uh, Evernote service, right? So you see, there are a high degree of freedom for describing value proposition. And next exercise is outlining pain relievers and outlining gain creators based on gains and pains you did in AM, but both of them are for describing value propositions of your business, okay? So uh, spend uh, five or 10 minutes for them and spend 20 minutes or so for discussing about your value proposition. And if you could not come up with uh, unique, attractive career cut value propositions among you, you have to go back to here, gain creators or gain relievers, or even gain and pains, or even further back. Okay, I, I, uh, I hope you guys come up with some good value proposition on it. Okay, all right. Uh, any questions about this exercise, please? and the copy of the product? Well, some of copy, some catch copy or tagline could be value proposition. Some of uh, the value propositions could be copy or tagline, right? So it's not totally different. It's not the same, right? So uh, uh, the copies, describing the sometimes value to customers and sometimes not value, right? So value proportion is just focusing on value so, so that customers can clearly understand what value could I get by using or by buying this product or service, right? Focus on that. That is value proportion. Any questions? Question? Right. Okay. So, start exercise, uh, and for thirty minutes for this exercise. All right. Let's get started. Thank you. 
like some training, uh, in depth uh, training. Uh, So one thing I can add is that, okay, we have been talking about gain creators and pain relievers um, um, like yesterday. Like, so if we, if you look back, like value graphs or CBC8 or like everything you created yesterday, that contains, you know, parts and bits of pain relievers and uh, gain creators. So you can, of course, look back at them and see what they were thinking and like how far they were going. So you can do that. You understand that. So this is just, a, you know, just showing you the some way to do value proposition. But you've been doing this since Monday, right? Thinking about value, how can you create this, like who you, who you should target to, and you have been doing this. So it's just, you know, it's a all combination of those, okay? So, yeah, I hope you can make a good use of what you have done yesterday and maybe some parts you did on, on Monday too, like brainstorming stuff, okay? Yeah, okay, I'll let you do it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
failed disaster in the country for many costs from climate change and also economic crisis happened also in the region. Maybe from economic crisis, uh, the government uh, cannot afford to uh, deal with infrastructure for that situation and also large scale disaster come. So the infrastructure, uh, infrastructure is not enough for the village. So local people, they want to make better oh, okay. so They invest uh, their money. And maybe they call money from another uh, uh, source like government, local government, but they uh, also need to invest their money on that process. So that is, a, uh, that is their motivation and also their need. They need to secure themselves. They cannot wait for the uh, government action. Yes, government action. So maybe that is the reason. And also for your explanation. So we can combine those uh, reasons. And uh, if it needs to explain to the other people. Yeah. Uh, what's the customer? Yeah. Yes. Uh, a sense of loss of losing, right? Okay. So, uh, economic crisis always should be. So, local people feel. Yeah, yeah.
Another eight minutes. So I we want you to start describing, start writing sentences or maybe phrases for your value proposition. Okay? So after you've done finding pain relievers and gain creators, I want you to start writing short sentences for your value proposition. Okay? Start writing short sentences as value propositions. Thank you. 
Five minutes, okay? Five minutes, okay. We are gonna have five more minutes. So six in total. Okay, six minutes from now. Okay. All right. Thank <laughs> you. 
How you came up with this? That explain the process. So our studies uh, is about rental overture for <laughs> students who has not enough time or a uh, uh, good uh, life. So it's like so we uh, thinking about paints and games about uh, overture, overture <laughs> gram grandmas and uh, students, old old women and students, and like. The uh, value proposition is like so for uh, old for old women like you uh, they need have a self self esteem so like uh, it is important to that uh, feel that they are required so this is one uh, value, pro value proposition for uh, old women and it is so and for uh, student I think. Uh, our, our target is mainly about uh, live alone. Pe people live alone and have and don't don't enough time and don't uh, enough uh, heartwarming 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 <laughs> sorry <laughs> sorry sorry <laughs> heartwarming communication for <laughs> uh, in their uh, house. So this is our uh, value proposition. S so sorry. So this is so for for student. We will uh, make your home at home with you, like a consultation uh, uh, by consult by consulting. Uh, we so for, for example, uh, like uh, very uh, house katetekina, uh, <laughs> very katetekina uh, uh, food provide very katetekina <laughs> food for uh, people and like uh, heartwarming experiences and for. Uh, this, this is for uh, old women. Like you can give and get a new perspective of life by uh, supporting students with your hospitality. This is m our uh, theme of this service. Yeah, that's all. So uh, if you support something, please. Thank you. Or we are we ideated pains and gains and uh, we. Have uh, realize that uh, what is the difference between uh, uh, Duskin's home or uh, household chores uh, outsourcing service? So uh, I th so we came up to uh, the idea. The students is uh, oh, do they uh, have do they need such kind of service or not? And uh, we came up to to they need just uh, uh, they they don't know what to order them. So, or cleaning up the house, or uh, making some good food, or something. So, uh, we need to, we need, uh, we have to prepare some uh, consultation service to them with uh, with grammar service. So, uh, so that is that's why uh, our message got like this. We will make your home at home with you, with you <laughs> means uh, uh, not by not all but everything is done by grandma. With you, we need you. So consult from the consultation and the heartwarming person. That is our idea. Mm -hmm. And uh, also on the grammar, uh, we do not only uh, uh, deliver some chance to such chance to job. We uh, we we are for grammar. Uh, they can they can give her her old perspective of life is a very new perspective of life to our students and uh, uh, also our the students perspective of life is very new to grammar so we can give and get a new perspective of life that is a more 
our value. So that's all. So Can I have something? Uh, our business model is uh, like visa company. Mm -hmm. So there's one group of customer, mm -hmm. which are student who need some help. And also one another one is grandma, grandmother, people who are old and stay home and have a lot of time. So we, as a business, we connect them together mm -hmm. and match their needs. Okay, match for pro smart side platform model. Okay, all right, thanks. <laughs> Great. Yes, I, I like the I like the way you. Okay, I'm gonna comment as if I'm really looking at this as an entrepreneur team. Okay, I'm, I won't be your nice kind instructor anymore because he's a, he's a nice kind instructor today. I'm gonna be a little bit harsh on you because I really like the with you notation because that's something different, right? It's like you said, like Nobi said, it's not the the obachan does everything, but you the student will do it with her, right? So I think the with you part is, I, I love that. I love that. I love that value proposition. But Obajan part, uh, new perspective. Hmm, a little bit ambiguous. Like new, until when? Like new for who? Is it new every time? So, you know, having a word like new or innovative or like value in, in, the, in the value proposition is, is a little bit, you need to be careful because is it new? F like, what kind of new are you talking about? Like, who is who's new is this? Is it new every time you get it? Or you know, so you need to be careful what kind of word you use here. So, I mean, you can probably dig in, but I love that with you part. That's my comment. Uh, I think those are good start for guys for getting into the. Uh, Good, good to good value proposition. Eh? <laughs> so, yes, the, the, the good to goodness is very, very impo important. Eh? <laughs> so, it's a very good uh, st starting point. Right. Right. Good, good to goodness is maybe, it, it really strikes you. It really strikes you as a, as a oh, oh my God, that's I, re I want it. You know? So, it really strikes you that in Japanese, good to kuru. Mm. Yes. Okay, thanks so much. Great. Yeah, next one. You and next, next you. Okay. <laughs> so, um, as we talked before, uh, I, uh, we divided our customers in the two parts: uh, citizens and companies. And we focus on companies, and um, so we also uh, thought about pain reliever and gain creator. Uh, in other words, uh, what is pain reliever and how um, can they gain this pain reliever? So this is kind of cause and effect relation. So um, I'd like to explain these parts. So uh, maybe um, our customer can gain financial aid from Japanese government or United Nations uh, by lobbying uh, for them. And also, uh, they can have good social image um, by advertising their effort for environment. Also, uh, they can lower costs by expanding our business. And also, there are many chances about uh, investigation or this is a need for emergency. So, um, but um, there are too many elements. So, uh, we thought we need to summarize these points. So um, what we thought is uh, there are many parts which relates to companies' profit and cost. Mm. So our first part is about uh, money, money or financial um, improvements. So we can reduce cost and increase profit of your company. And maybe he will explain second part. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh, for uh, all of us, we know for uh, uh, registered a renewable energy system, we can do a big contribution to our environment. But who, for who, uh, that we not too high um, the uh, environment uh, cautious, we may introduce what you can get.
being, being a customer, what you can get uh, is not an empty conception, but the real thing you can get. One, we can reduce the cost and increase the, the, the profits of your company because the cost, when you reduce, uh, introduce one system, the, the firstly, the cost maybe is high, but the profits of, of your uh, safe energy also is high. But when uh, it, this system is going well, so the profits will be uh, likely is more high than um, the firstly uh, installment. And, and then the fir fir uh, secondly, we can improve your company's image by uh, authorize the right. You can make some label on your products. For example, your products, the camera, then you, we uh, authorize, you can make a label of eco energy or use the renewable energy. So this is a kind of extra value of your products. And thirdly, we can prepare for the energy. Uh, in some er, uh, emergency uh, situation like earthquake or typhoon. So use the um, renewable energy uh, support, give you um, uh, just uh, more choice than the regular energy you used before. Thank you. All right, thank you. Well, yes, uh, that looks good. but. Uh, seeing, uh, making a profit for a company user is, you know, in B2B business, so many, many players offer such kind of uh, value to customers, right? So, because that is very important. So, you are tackling with a good point, but you should be uh, uh, outstanding uh, player among bunch of players offering same kind of value provision, okay? So uh, uh, it is, I think, a good starting point that you can uh, go further in detail for finding more uh, concrete and detailed and clear-cut value proposition to uh, corporate users, yes. Yeah. Very similar comment. You pro okay, I'm gonna be a bad cop today, okay? Because you're gonna find the same value proposition for maybe 10,000 other companies, right? The other company can have the exact same value proposition as yours, okay? You kinda want to avoid that situation because you'll be fighting the same race with 10,000 people. You don't want to happen. So like the one thing to, one thing, one way to win this race is go faster than anyone else. So outperform them, that's one. The other one is find different ways that you can you might be able to win because no one else is in in the context contest. So you know, so that's maybe something you might want to consider, you know, tweaking around and see how you can change this so that it looks unique and um, different. Yeah, but yeah, good Thank start. You. Yep. Thank you for your comments. Thank you. And the last one, please. We are discussing about a uh, vending machine, which can the users do exercise. And actually, uh, the vending machine has, the inside of the vending machine has a room, and inside the room, uh, the user can exercise, move their uh, body without being s uh, shown by anyone then. <laughs> And uh, actually, yeah, firstly, we uh, categorized the pains and gain into uh, some, uh, yeah, uh, some categories. And for example, uh, pains uh, for the users, uh, he is a businessman, business person. Uh, he is around 30 uh, age or 40 and uh, yeah, he he 
is very anxious about his health. And uh, yeah, he has bad body smell, and he's, uh, he has a fat around his waist, and he doesn't fit his pants. And yeah, like, like that uh, el element can be fit into a body part. And for example, next one is uh, he is ashamed to be shown he's exercising. And he has no time to exercise because he is too busy to go to exercise. Uh, th these, uh, these can be categorized into a barrier to exercise. And yeah, a diet habit or a mental barrier or something like that thing. And we ha want to solve the pro problems to, uh, yeah, g to, to better, better. Uh, Anyway, and yeah, <laughs> sorry. Uh, then we uh, value proposition. Uh, yeah, first, um, he can save his money because he uh, that doesn't need to go to a gym to exercise continuously. Uh, instead of that, he can. Uh, he can make his hard exercise small and easy parts because uh, every time he buys some drinks, he can exercise. So it uh, will save his money. And uh, also he can buy a drink with his uh, Suica or Pasmo, like such ID card. Uh, electric ID card, then uh, the it uh, save uh, his information, maybe, and then uh, he can know his health or his log of the exercising. Then, yeah, so uh, the value is to know your fitness status. And, uh, after exercising, moving body, the drink will become more tasty, right? Uh, yeah, maybe you can understand. <laughs> and uh, value production is uh, extra satisfaction, extra refreshment. So the these are uh, what we are discuss. So. Uh, the value proposition will be created, but other competitors might not be able to create. Is we can offer three things. Like the one is to buy drinks. The uh, the second one is to do exercise, and the last one is to save money. Yeah, at the same time. So I think we this is the uh, new value proposition we created. Waiting for you to provide us with a clear value proposition that uh, we can see on the board. Right. Because we like that. <coughs> you probably don't get our point. Like our proposition is like uh, you can see. Read <laughs> it. Okay. Yeah, our uh, your fitness coach on the street. Great. We were waiting for it. <laughs> Actually, we felt uh, good goodness on that, right? <laughs> you, you hear that? So your fitness coach on the street. Ah, I want that, right? See, your customers nodding. They were much, much nodding. Yeah. Speak through the microphone. Oh, yes. Okay, yes. Yeah, sorry. So your customers were nodding. They weren't nodding when you were talking about, okay, blah, 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 blah. We were like, hmm, okay. But this can communicate. This is value pro proposed, okay? It's clear, it's easy to understand, right? And it's clear what they're getting, okay? So I, I think these are the, the, the hints that you use to create this. I don't know, maybe it went vice versa. It, it went other day around, other day around but I think this, this is a, 
a good candidate for your value proposition. This is this has some good goodness. Yes. Yes. That's it. Thank you. Thanks so much. Great challenge. All right. Okay. All right. Value propositions. It's not so easy to uh, come up with very good value proposition, right? <laughs> not so easy. Striking. Striking. That uh, you know that it's worth to spend time and effort on it. Because it is core value to be delivered to your customers, right? Based on bad value proposition, you will come up with bad product or bait product, okay? So after describing your value propositions, candidates, ask simple questions to yourself. Is it unique? Is it easy to understand? From customer's viewpoint, feel as if you are customers, right? And is it difficult to copy? And also, don't mention about what you cannot promise to your customers, okay? Once you deliver your value proposition to your customers, all right, customers will be expecting they are gonna take it, okay? So don't tell a lie, right? And uh, in some case, you are going to find some players other than you who are providing the same kind of value proposition. In some cases, they are going ahead of us, right? In that case, many people are so disappointed and, uh, oh, come on, it's already exists. So, okay, go for next. But it's not necessary in all cases, right? You can ask whether you can differentiate your business model, your value proposition from that existing player's one, or whether you can outperform by your performance or the ma amount of uh, saving money or uh, speed or what else, what else, right? So that if you're gonna have some players in existing market, which is providing same kind of value proposition, don't be disappointed too much, okay? Right? And your pain relievers and gain creators do not need to solve all the pains and gains of customers. It's not possible, right? So focus on extreme pains and essential gains. Right? And for getting value proportion, we did for using only the 30 minutes or so, but in real business, it might be used for spend one month or two months or even more. Spending time is paid off once you will come up with Good, good, cool, very <laughs> proportion, <laughs> definitely, right? So I uh, do work on this and uh, go uh, to another uh, exercise, like, uh, you know, the outlining the pain and gains and uh, diving into the CBCA or uh, 
uh, many other stuff, iteratively, and repeat it again, again, and again to get your great value proposition, right? All right, so this is like, uh, you know, we were just talking. So this is value proposition searching journey that you will go through, right? It's not like an overnight thing. You, you will search and search and search, like you will do lo lots of observation, lots of design thinking type prototyping, try to find what is the right value proposition that you want to present or that you want to commit, right? So this is where, when you are finding, trying to find the right value proposition, this is where all the design thinking thing can take place. Like, uh, you know, doing prototyping or going, in, you know, go doing ethnography or things like this. These can all help to find unique, easy to understand, but difficult to copy, really good to kudu, uh, value proposition. You're not laughing when I say that, but you laugh when <laughs> he says that. But yeah, so you understand? So, you know, we spend so little time in this segment, but this is what you, you're doing most of the time, basically. Try to find the unique, innovative, nice, good to good value proposition. Great, thank you. Uh, any question about value proposition or anything? Okay, All right, so, uh, we didn't do the work on whole business model canvas, but we just focused on value propositions and customer segment a little bit. And sometimes some people are using the business model canvas as the format of business plan. Business model canvas is definitely not business plan, okay? Don't use it for outside formal communication. It's not for outside formal communication, right? It is an internal tool for discussion and creation great business model by yourself, okay? And use a business plan format instead for external communication, including pitch to VCs or banks, or whatever. And this is an example of business plan structure. Oh, it's too much, right? But, you know, that it consists of executive summary, the team, mission statement, business model, including value proposition, right? Target market, blah, 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 including financial analysis, and so on and so forth. You can convert your business model canvas into this format. Not only by yourself, right? You can use professionals. And once get, get you can get the great business model on the canvas or something, it's easy to translate into this format. It's so easy, it's operational, right? Spend your effort on not transforming to this format, right? Window dressing is not valid, right? Okay, so uh, anyway, the business model canvas is just a tool for discussing internal, internally for creating great your value proposition and great business model, all right? So, any question, please? Uh, maybe it, it, it is a kind of uh, problem of definition. But I can see the word values next to the mission statement and the vision, mission, and values. Mm -hmm. So the, what is the diffe difference? Uh, in, in the slide, what is the difference uh, between value and value proposition? Pro pro oh, okay, okay. Uh, in this segment, value is shared value among the team of this company, right? Yes, good question, thank you. What, what do you mean by uh, internal or external in this uh, slide? Because uh, what is the boundary to define internal or external? 
what is that? Sorry. The boundary to define. Yeah, it because you said that uh, EMC should consider in internal, right? Mm -hmm. Internal discussion. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what is the boundary for that internal discussion? Oh, okay. Okay. It depends. It depends. Right. So, for example, uh, when you pitch your business model to a VC, you have to use formal format, not the business model canvas, right? But uh, once you got an uh, investment from a VC, VC fund is gonna be a member of your team. And in some cases, in many cases, a, a member of VC is in the board, uh, joining the board members, right? In that case, we are gonna share the business model canvas or anything, right? So it depends on the situation. Yeah, yeah. so that's a, that's a great question because your team will grow. Mm. So definitely, I think we're gonna get to this story, but you know, so making business is finding the right person and get them into your team. So that's what business synthesis is all about. Because like Hashi was saying, you're not gonna do everything by yourself. Right, but you need to find the right person to do it with you or for you. So your team will grow, your team will change, and so that that's what you need to be thinking. So your borders will change. Mm. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Great question. Okay, any question? Over. All right, let's take a break. What time is it? Okay, short break. So uh, come back to here at two. Sorry, okay, too sorry. All right, thank you. <laughs>